Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in again. I hope you're all doing good. Right, my plan today was, right, I had to drive to Minehead to do a photo shoot for Marine Bikes and, and, and my car broke down, you know. I'm having all those issues that, like, a new driver at, like, 17 gets out of 40 years old. It's great fun. <laughs> so I had to ring up Marin, essentially my boss, and say, yeah, my car broke down. Can you come and pick me up? <laughs> <laughs> so the plan was to do a photo shoot up in my head. We are shooting a pretty unique bike. And I will show you that bike. But yeah, I need to wait for those guys to turn up. They're coming down from my head. I mean, honestly, it's pretty lush in Devon. So I'm sure we can find some really nice place to shoot. So yeah, that's today. We're going to meet John from Marin Bikes. He's got an awesomely absolute internet troll bike that i love and i can't wait to show you honestly then i get to like stand about do a bit of posing do a bit of prancing about and like yeah like be a model i'm gonna be a model today don't know where we're gonna go i'm sure we'll go find somewhere pretty rad to ride and somewhere really gorgeous it's a beautiful day as well so it's the perfect day for a photo shoot i'm gonna go and make a quick coffee because i left really early this morning this is another thing right i got my kid up really early dropped her off at a childminder crazy early so i could drive to mine head Broke down, and then Marina like, yeah, we'll come to you. And I'm like, damn it. Could have just done that in the first place, eh? Anyway, I suppose we'll crack on, and I'll check in with you in a bit when we are somewhere gorgeous, and I'll show you this bike. Yes, yeah, so what do you think? A flat bar gravel bike? Like... I'm not sure what this is designed for, but then it makes me think like, are bikes, do they need to be designed for some specific purpose? I mean, obviously cycling, but can you not just ride a bike and have fun without it being like labeled for something? Like, I think that's kind of what this is. <laughs> but it's pretty relaxed geo. It's also got a banging mudguard, look. Not sure how I feel about the mudguard, but so far it's quite fun to ride up and it's got a mega wide range cassette. Still waiting for the sun. And then John's up there doing like marine marketing stuff that the big wigs do. Oh yes, yeah, so this bike, the name of it is the FS DSX. FS, let me see. No, DX, D, it's this, look. FS DSX, or DSX FS. <laughs> How can it be so hard to say five letters? Oh, sun, sun. Location number two, still waiting for the sun, but this time we're joined by these awesome guys. I'm gonna try and say hello. Sometimes I'm gonna go, hello. Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online community where you can take classes from anything ranging from photography to cooking to probably to grooming a dog. There's so many different classes on there I've actually really enjoyed looking through and learning a few new things. So I'm currently doing a course by Ali Bartlett and it's all about basically going from a beginner to a pro editing in iMovie and there is other editing software that I'd like to start using and Skillshare makes it really easy for me just to like have a quick search in the search bar and find courses that are suited for what I want to be doing and what I want to be learning. And we're doing a special offer because you guys rule. So the first thousand of you to click the link down below and sign up to Skillshare, you will get one month premium. So if there's something you've always wanted to learn, click the link down below, get searching in the search bar and you will find the perfect course for you. Right, they're changing the lens. It's nice and sunny. Yeah, again, we're all talking about this bike and like, and like the purpose of it, you know? Surely it's more about having fun. Like, I get it, if you're racing the Tour de France, you need a road bike. But like, if you want to do a bit of everything, I mean, literally, it's got a suspension fork. I wonder if I can blag it. Do you reckon they'll let me keep it? We'll ask, we'll see if we can keep it. I kind of want to keep it. I, I was like having a laugh about it when I first saw this a while ago, right? And by the time you're seeing this vlog, well, I'm filming this in August and I think you'll see this in November. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I felt about it. Like when I first saw it, I thought it was just like a troll, you know? Like I did my like, my kind of joke bike with the, the full suspension gravel bike and then they created this. Lots of companies are doing gravel suspension forks now. You ready? Not ready? Not ready? Not ready? Not ready? Not ready? So the aim for today is right, get banging shots, make this vlog, work out what this bike is actually designed for, if anybody cares, it's just a fun bike to ride, and then try and steal it and have a beer. Oh, sun's out, let's go.
I don't get to choose my own ice cream right <laughs> because it doesn't look good on photos. So I've just had it dictated to me what ice cream I'm allowed to eat. But I still get an ice cream and I'll get a flake as well. <laughs> Little things that make me happy. Oh, hard day of work, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly It's a hard right. job. So for anyone wondering why I quit my last job where I sat in a metal box all day <laughs> fixing bikes, you, you know, you, you now know. Uh, Right, you bunch of sticky turtles. Back home, that was that was that was good fun. Certainly not complaining about that for a day of work. I figured I'd show you like properly. So you know, 700 C wheels. It does come with tires that are not good here. Uh, no, because with WTV WTV Riddlers on it, like this own brand Marin crank set, Shimano Dior 12 speed cassette, and an SLX rear mech. And interestingly, look, can you see this? Well, obviously you saw this, and this is like, I suppose, like the talking point of this bike, or the, the controversial point. Well, it's not, it's not even gonna be controversial by the time you see this, because recently at Steamboat Gravel and a lot of other races, people have been rocking a short travel suspension fork on gravel bikes. I guess this just goes a bit further and puts like a flat bar on it. So what do we have here? Should we talk about it? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. What is it? It's a flat bar gravel bike, but it's a flat bar gravel bike with a suspension fork. So what does that even mean? Does that mean it's like a 90s mountain bike? Or is it, a hybrid. I mean, I'm sure loads of people are gonna tell me like, whatever it is, it's this, it's that. I mean, it could be an extreme gravel bike. Is that a new thing, extreme gravel biking? Like, fixed gear freestyle became a thing. So if fixed gear freestyle can become a thing, like, extreme gravel biking. Um, I say extreme because it's got a fork on it and you can get rad. Gonna be honest, after the shoot, I went for a ride to get some beer and have a bit of a chill out. And it was so much fun, <laughs> like, and you know what? I don't care what it is. Like my track bike, it's not about like the shape of the bars. A track bike is a track bike, a gravel bike is a gravel bike. So I guess I'm saying it's a gravel bike, but I don't actually think it is a gravel bike. And there's a lot of different types of bikes, all right? You ride a gravel bike, you're a gravel rider. If you ride a road bike, you're a road rider. You're a mountain bike, you're a mountain biker. And there's this kind of tongue in cheek banter between the groups. Like I ride all of them and I enjoy riding with loads of different people. And I don't think one type of cycling is better than any other type of cycling, unless you include fat bikes in it. And then, then that's just not even, they don't even count. But I don't know, I think this bike is designed for someone like, you might not want to go racing. You're not bothered about, you know, placement, but you want to have fun, be comfortable, enjoy your ride. Like, if it weren't for the uphill sections on Grand Euro, I'd happily ride like a bike like this. I think it'd be really fun on the downhill stuff. But with the suspension fork, slightly wider tires on there, I think it'd be a load of fun. It's just not going to be as fast as another bike. So there's a lot of clearance on the frame, and it's making me wonder if I could get the Goodyear Connector 50mm tyres on. That'd be fun, right? So I guess what I'm saying is, I don't really care what the bike's designed for. It's good fun to ride. You can ride it on the gravel, you can ride it on road. It's not as fast as a road bike on the road. It's probably not as fast as my gravel bike up a climb. But one thing I do know, I'm going to ride it more. I think I want to get some wider bars for it. Another thing I want to do is I'm going to change the wheels, put my uh, stayer wheels on, and then I think we're ready to rock. And maybe we'll take it to ride some mountain bike trails and see how it handles it. I mean, honestly, I rode my gravel bike on mountain bike trails and that was fine, so this will be fine as well. I hope you enjoyed this photo shoot stroke. Look at this top secret bike that actually you don't get to see it before it actually gets released. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.